It's week 28 of A Year of Wisdom. Let's get to reading. Day 193 Job 12 Then Job answered and said, Without a doubt you are the people and wisdom will die with you. I also have understanding as well as you. I'm not inferior to you. Who does not know such things as these? I'm a laughing stock to my friends. I who called on God and whom he answered, a righteous and blameless man, is a laughing stock. For calamity, there is derision according to the ideas of the fortunate, a fate for those whose feet slip. But the tents of robbers are peaceful, and those who provoke God are confident, who carry their God in their hands. But now ask the animals and they will teach you, or the birds of the sky and they will tell you. Or speak to the earth and it will teach you, or let the fish of the sea declare to you. Which of these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In whose hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all the human race? Does not the ear test words as the tongue tastes food? Is not wisdom found among the aged? Does not long life bring understanding? With God are wisdom and power, counsel and understanding are his. If he tears down, it cannot be rebuilt. If he imprisons a person, there is no escape. If he holds back the waters, then they dry up. If he releases them, they destroy the land. With him are strength and prudence. Both the one who goes astray and the one who misleads are his. He leads counselors away stripped and makes judges into fools. He loosens the bonds of kings and binds a loincloth around their waist. He leads priests away stripped and overthrows the potentates. He drives the trusted advisors of speech and takes away the discernment of elders. He pours contempt on noblemen and disarms the powerful. He reveals the deep things of darkness and brings deep shadows into the light. He makes nations great and destroys them. He extends the boundaries of nations and disperses them. He deprives the leaders of the earth of their understanding. He makes them wander in a trackless desert waste. They grope about in darkness without light. He makes them stagger like drunkards. Proverbs 12 The one who loves discipline loves knowledge, but the one who hates reproof is stupid. A good person obtains favor from the Lord, but the Lord condemns a person with wicked schemes. No one can be established through wickedness, but a righteous root cannot be moved. A noble wife is the crown of her husband, but the wife who acts shamefully is like rottenness in his bones. The plans of the righteous are just, the counsels of the wicked are deceitful. The words of the wicked lie in wait to shed innocent blood, but the words of the upright will deliver them. The wicked are overthrown and perish, but the righteous household will stand. A person is praised in accordance with his wisdom, but the one who has a twisted mind is despised. Better is a person of humble standing who nevertheless has a servant than one who pretends to be somebody important yet has no food. A righteous person cares for the life of his animal, but even the most compassionate acts of the wicked are cruel. The one who works his field will have plenty of food, but whoever chases daydreams lacks wisdom. The wicked person desires a stronghold, but the righteous root endures. The evil person is ensnared by the transgression of his speech, but the righteous person escapes out of trouble. A person will be satisfied with good from the fruit of his words, and the work of his hands will be rendered to him. The way of a fool is right in his own opinion, but the one who listens to advice is wise. A fool's annoyance is known at once, but the prudent overlooks an insult. The faithful witness tells what is right, but a false witness speaks deceit. Speaking recklessly is like the thrusts of a sword, but the words of the wise bring healing. The one who tells the truth will endure forever, but the one who lies will last only for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of those who plot evil, but those who promote peace have joy. The righteous do not encounter any harm, but the wicked are filled with calamity. The Lord abhors a person who lies, but those who deal truthfully are his delight. 
the shrewd person conceals knowledge, but foolish people publicize folly. The diligent person will rule, but the slothful will become a slave. Anxiety in a person's heart weighs him down, but an encouraging word brings him joy. The righteous person is cautious in his friendship, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. The lazy person does not roast his prey, but personal possessions are precious to the diligent. In the path of righteousness there is life, but another path leads to death. Ecclesiastes 12 So, remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the difficult days come and the years draw near when you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Before the sun and the light of the moon and the stars grow dark, and the clouds disappear after the rain, when those who keep watch over the house begin to tremble, and the virile men begin to stoop over, and the grinders begin to cease because they grow few, and those who look through the windows grow dim, and the doors along the street are shut. When the sound of the grinding mill grows low, and one is awakened by the sound of a bird, and all their songs grow faint, and they are afraid of heights and the dangers in the street. The almond blossoms grow white, and the grasshopper drags itself along, and the caper berry shrivels up. Because man goes to his eternal home, and the mourners go about in the streets. Before the silver cord is removed, or the golden bowl is broken, or the pitcher is shattered at the well, or the water wheel is broken at the cistern, and the dust returns to the earth as it was, and the life's breath returns to God who gave it. Absolutely futile, laments the teacher. All of these things are futile. Not only was the teacher wise, but he also taught knowledge to the people. He carefully evaluated and arranged many proverbs. The teacher sought to find delightful words and to write accurately truthful sayings. The words of the sages are like prods, and the collected sayings are like firmly fixed nails. They are given by one shepherd. Be warned, my son, of anything in addition to them. There is no end to the making of many books, and much study is exhausting to the body. Having heard everything, I have reached this conclusion. Fear God and keep His commandments, because this is the whole duty of man. For God will evaluate every deed, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. And as always, thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right there and click the bell when my head for notifications. Full, and if you would, hit that like button. Right and I will see you tomorrow. Maranatha. You'll carry me out of the storm. I'm standing at the crossroads. I'm lost without a clue I need a big pink neon sign To show me what to do I thank you, Lord It glorifies you when you're the only answer I praise you, Lord Holding what's too much for me And I'm amazed by you, Lord Because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet